All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to uh, I'm going to show you how to actually transform a 2D shape into 3D shape uh, based on uh, some input uh, imagery. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with uh, for this tutorial, I decided to create uh, some 3D models of uh, social media icons, and also I'm going to show you how uh, you can actually use the text. Uh, to transform uh, it to 3D. So basically you can uh, render out uh, 3D models of, uh, for example, in this case, it's gonna be uh, these uh, uh, social media icons. And uh, I will actually use these to later use them for my website. So I just wanted to show you the process of how, how um, I would create this. So basically right now I'm just making them all be the same size and uh, uh, later on we're gonna we're gonna create texts for all of them but for now let's just uh, put them like this and uh, let's uh, let's lock them and let's bring down the transparency uh, like so let's say 44 44 a little bit less like so okay so now I can lock them and first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw out this shape so I will just start with a simple line and I'll go up and basically what I'm doing here is I'm um, tracing the image that I already have there so I'm just going over over and uh, uh, trying to, to get uh, the closest as to, to get the shape as close as possible and uh, by just using simple uh, simple lines here uh, in this case so let's say that um, this is this is F and for example here this is for the upper one and I'm gonna draw one here as well for this guy. So once I have this overall shape, I will uh, use curve boolean to actually create this. But first, let me uh, let me just get it right here. So something like this, and at the top we can use. We can use um, curve interpolate points and let's just go over the curve slightly like this and then we can change it modify it a little bit uh, to get to the correct correct angle here so this is basically just refining it like um, uh, it's it's like as close as possible to the actual letter then i'm going to use curve boolean and all i'm going to do is i'm going to click here inside these regions and this will allow me to have to have this f that's what i wanted okay so i'm going to delete the rest and now once i have this f i will use it later on to create my 3d so right now i'm just gonna Okay, let's create this guy and this guy. So this will be my final icon for Facebook. Let's move on. I'm just gonna bring these guys down here so that, yeah, so this is my Facebook icon. Now let's do the Instagram one. So here, as you can see, it's rounded rectangle. So we can use this option here try to get it as close as possible like this and let's do it one more time this time I will use some reference lines uh, to get it exactly like this and like this okay this is the midpoint this is the midpoint so let's go with the circle first here one more and let's do one more here 
Let's move it in. Same. And here I'm also going to create this top one and this guy here. Actually, I'm going to orient this so it has the same uh, the same uh, distance like this. And let's use again uh, the round rectangle tool. Okay, so first we need to move this also to mirror it here. And let's mirror these guys as well on the bottom. And let's use the rounded rectangle again to get the same shape. And one more time, this time here. So this is it. And now I'm just gonna use curve boolean again. I'm gonna first delete this because I don't need anything else. And yeah, actually I don't need curve boolean. Uh, this is ready here. So that's my Instagram icon. I'm gonna bring it up and align it here. Let's move on, Pinterest. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky because it has a lot of curves, but we're gonna do it anyways. So let's just trace it and see if we can get the shape to be as close as possible to the actual logo. This is Pinterest icon. It took a little bit more time because it's curved, but um, that's that's how it's done. And finally, let's do Twitter. We're gonna use the same principle. I'm gonna go around the head first. Then I'm gonna use the same techniques for the flaps here. So now let's let's curve boolean the bird and we have the final Twitter icon traced. So now uh, now it's a matter of creating the 3D geometry which is pretty simple. You just uh, let's rotate this 90 degrees. Let's move it up. And for example, let's let's start with uh, Pinterest. You can just say plan planner surface, and we get the surface. Let's do the same with Twitter, and let's do the same thing with Instagram here. Planner surface, planner surface, planner surface, planner surface, and now let's extrude all of these guys. Let's just bring it out a little bit and let's do this, the same thing with the back. So let's just do the same with the back. And we have the, we have them in 3D. For the last thing I wanted to show you how you can do this with a text as well. So you can say, for example, Facebook here. And you can select, okay, give me curves, give me surfaces, or give me solids. In this case, let's use for let's use solids, and let's see what happens if you create here Facebook. 
you see you get you get the letters already done and you can now resize them do whatever with them and you can also change the font here and play around with uh, different options uh, you can uh, you can get it to to be only surfaces and this is what it will look like and you can get it get it to be uh, let's change something else to be only curves in case you want that as well so yeah and then you can actually manipulate this as well if you want you can manipulate all these curves and you can change them and arrange them like you want um, I hope that you found this video useful and I will uh, I'll render this uh, icons now and show you the result here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh, if you like this kind of tutorials please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.